Hello and welcome back to the Tears Collective. Today we're going to be playing some more World of Warships. Now, if anyone who has been watching this channel may have noticed, I really do like American destroyers. Uh, in particular, I had a very good time playing on the Nicholas. Um, that was a very, very, very good ship. Um, it had some significant drawbacks. Primarily, its torpedoes were pretty freaking useless. Um, but I did get some pretty good kills with those torpedoes. It's just it's a matter of opportunity and being pretty lucky now i have moved on to the farragut and it is another tier higher so you end up fighting against a lot of different uh, ships that you've never really seen before uh and by the time you get to tier six which is what the farragut's at you really a lot of the people know how to f fight against destroyers and they know how important it is to kill that destroyer as quickly as possible and I will, I will admit it, I fell into the issue where I could not, no idea what I was supposed to do. I was having issues because I was still playing with the mindset of the Nicholas. Um, I have since, I believe, myself, uh, relearned how to play uh, American DDs. And I feel like I've, I've not necessarily mastered it, but certainly I'm on my way to do so. Um, they are certainly not... Stealth ships, as you would with the Japanese uh, destroyers. I've I've had a lot of time playing Minikaze and stuff like that, where you basically can sit anywhere and no one will notice you until it was too late. Um, the this is not the case with the Farragut or the Nicholas. Um, the torpedoes. Um, I, honestly, I don't think that they've upgraded at all since the the from the Nicholas. Um, I have the upgraded version. I don't know if in this game I have, but in the in in now I do have the upgraded version, which has only got six point four kilometer range, which is just nothing. Um, the guns are very nice. This is the up, the the Farragut build. Uh, ah, it's a Farragut B, so it's it's the the whole B, uh, which means it still has all five of its guns. Uh, it doesn't have as much AA defense as the the sea hull does um but it's it you know it's okay um all right so this on this map right there is a this large outcrop of rock that looks like a lion's head and it is super good for sneaking keeping an eye on b where b would be in the center of the the map if this were a, a domination game or looking down this channel to see who is deciding to come down the the uh, eastern channel and you can keep an eye on the approaches to the Eastern Channel and all that other thing. So you've got some, it's a fairly good spotting area here. Uh, and I, as you can see, I've spotted a Koenig and a, a Ganes now. Uh, both pretty bad, uh, pretty good battleships. They're very, very dangerous. So I poke my head out, get a little detection, pop my smoke and start firing. Oh, and there's a DD right there, which has now disappeared. All right, so I've got a fire already, and this really not the best fire starter in the entire world. It's got five percent chance to start fires, uh, but you do have the benefit of a ridiculous weight of um, uh, basically you firing so often. A simple weight of shells is, is ridiculous. Um, oh, that DD! It, it's a Shononomi right there. Is he being fired at from? Yeah, he's being fired at from the other DD right there. I poke my head out again because he's backing away from the uh, torpedoes I fired. I put a couple shots into him and get past him a little bit and kind of sneak in. I do take a torpedo. Now that was my bad. I put it onto full throttle and I should have slowed down a bit. And I should have expected if I saw this, should have known me. It. It's to be expected that they're going to try and uh, nuke me with torpedoes, but frankly, I was more interested in killing him than anything else. And he pops smoke to try and get away from me, but he keeps popping out of his smoke. He's going too quickly, and he's trying to turn back into a smoke, so anytime I was, I, I just kept looking and watching. Now, his smoke, where it is in that little channel area, is blocking him blocking me should I say from all the rest of his team 
like the Koenig and the Gnosis now, which means I can fire on them with relative impunity. Oh, I burnt him to death. That's what happened. Okay, cool. All right, well, that's going to help. Um, I have one kill so far. Two fires is more than I thought. The Koenig takes a couple torpedoes to the bow. Uh, I'm just going to continue firing. And that's the thing with the, the Farragut. They're primarily just sit there and, and pepper the heck out of people with it. And they're more annoying than anything else. They're very good scouts. They obviously could do with some... Uh, stealth in my opinion but as you can see I'm not doing a ridiculous amount of damage each shot it's just under a thousand just over 900 roughly depending on the amount of shells that hit um, but it's not uh, I'm not gonna kill someone in, in one salvo basically but what I will do is put out 3,000 damage in about as much time as it takes for like a for attack or Aoba to reload So the Koenig's down and we've got an Aoba coming up towards us and we're pretty sure he's coming after me because he's I think he's freaking out the fact that there's uh, Two cruisers and a battleship in the channel on the east side there and I'm all by myself and it's to this point that I realized that I'm detected and uh, the uh, smoke that had been put up by the, the Shinonomi has disappeared. Fantastic. So I put uh, some torpedoes in the water to try and see if, if he decides to follow me, he'll just run straight into him, but I guess he decided uh, not to. It probably be most simple to do it that way. Um, now I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do next because I'm all by myself, essentially. There's a cruiser and a battleship behind me, which, frankly, is not that all that useful. Um, Leanders are good. They are very, very good, but not spectacular. Uh, oh, but now I've spotted the Aoba because he's less than four kilometers away. And I can see he's trying to come around. He's going to come around the, the island to try and get after me. Uh, and my torpedoes are on a 35 second cooldown. So naturally, I'm, I'm crapping my pants here because I'm thinking I am going to die. I'm on 919 health. After that torpedo really, really basically destroyed me. So we try and keep this island between me and the Aoba as much as possible. Um, and he's firing. Okay, now he's 2.8 kilometers away. This is this is going to be super tight. I've got 10 seconds left on my torpedoes. He's going to sneak in. And there's a, uh, a Fuso on the horizon. I don't think he can see me. I'm not down. Okay, I'm detected. All right, my torpedoes are loaded. Fire him off. Two salvos, slightly staggered, and get the hell out of there because he has torpedoes as well. And Aoba walks right into it. Now, I saw a post just recently about how um, Farragut's couldn't stealth um, torpedo anyone or ambush. Uh, what did I just do? It wasn't terribly, you know, terribly stealthy, but it played on people being stupid. And hey, it worked. Why not? So there's three torpedo hits and two floods, basically. It's very, very nice. Um, now I see that the Gnosis now is still trying to fight those two guys in the eastern channel. And I decide to add my fire to it. And I try to move the, the reticle a little bit further over so that I can try to get a fire on his front of his ship. Um, you get a lot of easier to hit him in the, the center area where the, the main bridge area is and all the superstructure is. Because you get a lot more... You're more likely to hit it, basically. Uh, but uh, spreading fires along the length of a battleship is fantastic. It is unfortunately at this point that I realized that we're being capped. And no one else in my team seems to have noticed that. Except for a battleship and a cruiser, and neither of them seem to be doing all that much. So while I'm having a fairly good game, uh, I am obviously not going to win this game. It's disappointing, but you know, what can you do? This Fuso decided to slow down a bit. I'm not terribly sure why. Is he firing at a cruiser or something like that? Or a battleship? You know what? Oh, it doesn't make sense. So I get worried that he's going to start trying to aim at me. And now I've noticed that we're being capped. And that the T-22 is hiding back there. I'm just trying to get what damage I can because I, I'm not going to be able to get back there in time. 
Um, the battleship that should have been able to get back there in time just got nuked. Um, and the Leander, oh, sorry, the Cleveland's not doing it all that much of a job trying to get the Emil. Had he hit one of the Emil, the Emil that was while he was in the the cap or you know searched the cap area, we would have been fine. But no, it's they. I, no one was defending Cap. The entire western side failed miserably. And it's um, it's just sad that we lost. Oh well. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like or subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching.